That catch good for five. It's third down. Now Watson from the gun on third down. Oh man, y'all can't catch. Got it, middle of the field. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Looking to throw on second down. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Watson on third down. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. Back with more from Charlotte after this. Now the offense not going anywhere. They're staying out there. They've converted once already on this drive. Here they go again on fourth down. They will indeed snap it to Watson. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. Bill O'Brien rolls the dice, but to no avail. And it'll be a turnover on downs. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And two interceptions thrown here in this first half. You hear it, no matter the sport, they say the great athletes, they can kind of have a short-term memory, but that's easier said than done. It is easier said than done, but I played with a guy who threw two interceptions in the first quarter of a really big game we were playing. Johnny Unitas? And no, not, not quite of that <laughs> level and not of that age. But I remember I was look, going for the age. Though. I remember looking over at him, and he was smiling. And I thought, what is he smiling about? It's because he had enough confidence in himself that uh, that was a fluke. And he went out and played pretty well the rest of the day. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, partner, when you ask anyone other than your QB to throw the ball, you must have a lot of confidence, or you think you're really going to fake them out, and it looks like they did exactly that. Yeah, going deep in the playbook and a great grab on the other end. On first and 10, Newton. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it. And he got it. And this will complete right side to Funches. 11 more on that one and another first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. A good pick up there, a 22. First down, it's Newton. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I don't think what we just saw there was any surprise because when Christian McCaffrey came out of Stanford, we knew he was a threat running it and catching it, and any way you can get the ball in his hands, you wanted to do so. 
Personally, I thought he ran the best routes of anyone coming out of his draft class, and that included the wide receivers. Last year, 80 reception. And he's got his man. It's Samuel. Touchdown, Carolina. In for the score. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Now comes a Houston offense as they get set to take over here. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Good starting field position for the Houston Texans here as they come up first and ten. Black 22! Black 22! Richmond, Richmond! Ah! Out of the gun, Watson. It's complete to Hopkins. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. The Texans offense now. They get set to head back onto the field. They trail offense. First time to touch the ball in quarter three. And we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll run with Miller. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. A first down carry now for Miller. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Watson going to give this one to Miller. And an alley to run. Lamar Miller. Touchdown, Houston. Lamar Miller, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans draw a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But sometimes that binds you up so much that you try too hard, you don't get the score. A perfect combination of urgency, yet relaxed enough to get it done. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. Yeah. 
So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. The former first-round pick, Kareem Jackson, there defensively. A well, partner like we always do this time of year with the holidays here and me happy for once. <laughs> I want to say happy holidays to you, to your family, and to everybody out there in Maddenland. I like how you said that. Before I do go on, though, happy holidays to you, your family, and Thank everyone you. out there in Maddenland as well. And hope that they're safe and they're happy and successful holidays for all. But... As you said, happy for once. Usually you're kind of a, kind of a Grinch this time of year. What's going on? Yeah, well, my heart grew three sizes this winter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Got to get you some new clothes to accommodate that big chest. <laughs> but enjoy the holidays, everyone. Eat, be merry, enjoy your family time. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. On third down, Newton. Got his target, Samuel. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Now a first down throw for Newton. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him. Do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Second and ten, Newton. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, there defensively to make the play. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Yeah. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. 14. Touchdown, Carolina. 
as his guys are in for six. And the Panthers add on to their lead. A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give him a nice two-score advantage. It, it was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what, what they play, did, man. how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. Ron Rivera didn't get the nickname Riverboat Ron for nothing. His guys are going to go for two here. Newton throwing again. Incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Now the Texans offense, they head back out to do battle here. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two-minute. Who knows? Let's we'll see what they decide to do. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They'll run it again with Miller. Even with the nice move, can't go very far. Stop short of the 30. Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing on third down, Watson. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39, and his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Come on, baby. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. All right, Brandon. Normally when you hear about guys making two interceptions in the game, you're thinking must be a free safety, maybe a corner. How about getting two picks out of one of your linebackers? Again, he's just in the right place at the right time. And that's another great play to come away with the football. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. In the pocket, chucked it away. Flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field. Have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Throw left side complete. That's Carter. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That went good for 21 yards, and that'll bring up a third and one. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. 
and that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. The Texans on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. He needed a yard. That's what he got. And it's going to earn him a new set of downs. First down, it's Watson. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Carter. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. On second down, here's Miller. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And down inside the 15, oh, shy of the 10. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. In for the score. And the Texans have cut it to within a score. On for the PAT, Kaimi Fairbear. So they fought half the battle here, but they're still down. Plenty of work still left for them, but they delivered in the first step in their comeback attempt. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Fairbairn now to kick this one away. Carolina getting set to take the field. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, and what's interesting is, what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. So Newton and the Panthers come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. Oh, man, they make him throw a stupid bomb, man. Incomplete. Come on, man, are you Let's serious? Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once man, you get to man. game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again, the 25, second and 10. Second down. Funches has it complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a yeah. throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. The 31st of the mark, I got to go to work tomorrow. Tomorrow. Hmm. On 
on first down. This is McCaffrey. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Right. You'd have to think likely another running play coming here, great, second great. and 11. And now the Texans want to call another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Second down, here's Newton. It's caught by Funches. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. He got 29 yards that time. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll run it now out of the gun. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Throwing here, Newton. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A big pickup there, and without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. It was funny, during the draft process, someone said to me, well, whoever takes Christian McCaffrey, as it turned out, it was Carolina. How are they going to use him? Is he going to be an every down back? Is he going to be a third down guy? They're going to use him in the slot? I mean, what are they going to do with him? I just said, yes. <laughs> all of that. No doubt about yeah. it. This kid can do it all. And he did a nice job there out of the backfield to pick up the first. And this one going to wrap up with Cam Newton going down to a knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about <laughs> doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. And Charles, I 